Hey guys, Bondo here. I'm at my house, guys, and we're gonna be pouring some concrete today out back of my house. So I'll show you what we're doing. We're doing some stamped concrete out there. It's a 20 by 20 piece. We're basically gonna back that truck down here. And I got Carl the Kubota here. Matt's gonna drive that. Frank's gonna drive the track buggy. And I gotta go all the way around the back of my house here. It's really soft in here, so it's been raining. This is all kind of topsoily area. And they're gonna go around the back, down this hill. We've got a big hill back here. Around here, guys. You can see them coming. They're gonna have to go down through here. It's really wet down in there. And up this hill, right here, all the way to the back of here. And this is what we're at. And here's where we're gonna be. We're gonna be pouring this. Got a four inch pitch here. I'm just trying to pour this area between my hot tub and my garage here. And we're gonna stamp it. So we got some rebar in there at a three foot grid. And this is the direction up this hill we're gonna be coming. Stay tuned. Here comes the mud. It's a little bit late, but here it comes. Looks like it's Big Rob. Bring it in, Big Rob. Start them right up. Let's get her right in here, huh? Big Rob. What's up, buddy? He looks grumpy today, doesn't he? He wouldn't be a good smile, worker. buddy. He wouldn't smile. be a good. Matt's got my old hat on. <laughs> that ain't bad, right there. I can live with that, brother. I like that. That's nice looking mud, right there, boys. That's nice mud. Let's get on there. Let's get her back there, boys. Right into the tractor bucket. Old Carl's gonna help out today. Rub that sucker right up. Yes, sir. here up the hill I'm worried about should be fine buggy does not like going up hills for some reason the belt starts to slip there we go Hey guys, Bondo here. So I just got back from my hunting trip out west. I'm going to start putting some more videos together for you guys. I got a bunch of footage from things we did this summer that I didn't get 
to put on video. So I've been gone for over a month out there hunting. I got a nice deer and um, chased around some elk, but I didn't get an elk. So, but anyways, guys, I'm at my house here. Um, this is something like I said we did a couple months ago before we got snow right now here. So we're just dumping this in. You can see we had to start um, around the front of my house. It was pretty soft. We didn't want to drive the trucks around there and mess up my lawn and stuff. So we got Carl the Kubota here and uh, the track buggy and uh, we're just putting it in. This is about five and a half inches thick guys and uh, we're dumping it in and we're pulling the rebar up. You can't really see it when it's we're in fast motion here. But uh, when I slow it down here, you'll see us pull the rebar up. Um, this is give you a slow motion view of what's going on here. But this is, um, I had Matt on Carl the Kubota here, and he's just going to dump it in. Here we go. You can see I'm pulling the rebar up right here, guys. So that rebar stays up into the slab. I just wanted to show you that for you guys that like to police us out here on YouTube so there we are um, magging the edges there's a piece of styrofoam around the edge like a expansion foam that I glued on there with uh, um, like the spray adhesive stuff just sprayed it on there you, it's a two-part you spray both sides and it sticks on there so you can see me and Mike there that's Mike in the yellow I got the orange shirt on with the hat of course but me and Mike are pulling this off by hand. Um, he put a wet pad in the middle there and set it to grade with the laser. So that's what we're going off of. And then this is a 16-foot screed. We're just pulling it across. And um, Mike was there. He helped us get it in, and then he had to go. He had another job to do, so he helped us get it in. I think he didn't quite finish up the end here, but I think he had to leave. But he helped us get most of it in. Yeah, here's Matt going to help me finish up. That's Frank and Tuna behind us puddling. They're what we call puddlers. They're just raking the concrete flat, guys. And uh, me and Matt are just pulling this 16-foot stick, kind of magging it in as we go, filling in our footprints. And that's pretty much what we did. This pad has a 4-inch pitch to it. Um, I did that because there's a lot of roof stumping down onto this thing right here. You'll see bunch of roof slimes dump onto it and a lot of water so I wanted it all to flow out the end but we're going to stamp this here in a minute so stay tuned guys and you'll see how we stamped it we did a seamless slant stamp and then uh, I'm going to seal it at the end too you'll see what it looks like come out really good we got tuna over here doing the border edge I bordered it with the tool, and now he's just matting it down with that little floppy stamp to give us a nice border. And then uh, we're almost ready to get stamping the main part of it here. Doing a stamping debut right here. Oh, yeah. Soft over there, ain't it? Yeah, that's why I'm not pushing Yeah, it's a lot softer right there. Over, at least I have the tards over by that door where Frank yeah. is. The sun's beating right on that by, by the door. We got a little time, I think. So you can see guys we started stamping where we actually finished the pour so you'd think that would uh, be the last that would be the last place you would stamp but the sun's beating on it right there so right by that man door that was actually the hardest spot of the whole slab at this point so I'm just spreading uh, this powder release it's a charcoal powder and uh, that just keeps the stamp from sticking if you've ever seen a stamp or anyone else stamp that's uh, one way you can do it you can use a liquid release agent too I like the color that the powder leaves. It's a mess that gets all over you. But uh, I, I like the color that it leaves. So I just spread this out, you know, with a little broom and throw it down and it sticks into the concrete. And then I just walk the mats in. I got flat bottom shoes on right now, guys. Instead of hitting it with a tamper, I just walk it in. As long as you get on it when it's still 
somewhat soft, those shoes you can walk a nice pattern in and you're not going to leave duck ponds, you know, where if I didn't have the shoes on, I'd be sinking in when my footprints would show into the pattern and I call them little duck ponds. This pattern's pretty forgiving. It's got some deep uh, rocks and stuff in it, but uh, you definitely would see it. That's why I like those shoes. And uh, we slowed it down here, guys. You see how I put the stamp there at an angle? I'm just trying to get rid of the lines that you would see. If you just run the stamps like this straight, um, you're gonna leave, you'll see the lines on the edges. So I like to take that stamp and pick it up every once in a while, and I'll set it down at an angle. See how gently I set the stamp down, too, guys? If you drop the stamp down on the powder, it'll puff the powder out. And you'll actually see a, see that in the finished product. You won't have the right color. So you set the stamp down pretty gentle like that. And you can see in the slow motion here, I'm not really stomping. I'm just kind of walking these in. And then you got to pick up the other stamp and set it underneath it so you can pick it up. You can see how we do it here. There's my uh, where I angle it right there. You'll see. Just right like that. I'm just getting rid of that line every once in a while. Like that. Just like that. That's what I do. And now when you're done, there's another time I did it. You just pick it up, angle it, set it back down like that. That just gets rid of that, them line patterns that you might get. And by walking these in, I kind of like it better if the concrete's soft enough to walk it in. I like the finished product better because sometimes when you hit it with the stamper, you know, your hand tamper, It'll puff the powder out from under the stamp, and you'll see that line. So I like to do it like this, just walk it in. You can't always walk it in if it's real hot out. It'll start to dry, and you got to hit it with that tamper so you can get a good impression. But you can feel it as the concrete starts to stiffen up. And uh, as it does, you'll have to transition over to the hand tamper. We were able to walk this whole slab in because of the shade. You can see my house there is is shaded this a lot this whole pad so it really didn't get a lot of sunlight just where we started the rest of it was pretty good we're just finishing things up here and then you'll see the finished product um, me and my girlfriend Chrissy sealed it and we rolled the sealer on there after a few days and you'll see what that looks like <laughs> I didn't video it guys but we gently pressure wash this with a with a soft tip just you know with a fan tip we just gently pressure washed it and got all that powder release off there and I'm just taking this uh, leaf blower and drying it out at this point sealing the patio of my house me and Christine you like yeah, yeah. Looks so good. There it is, guys. Finally got a little something done at my own place. It's going to be nice because this is my shop. I'll we'll go in there. And the beer fridge is in there. And you can walk over here to the hot tub. And that's the sunroom we're building. So it's all a walkout basement there this is all stamped concrete this is wood plank i did several years ago well there it is i'm still gonna cut it i want my saw to mic so i'll wait and cut it another day